Hey, good morning. Welcome to another Monday message. It's always so exciting to share the Word of God with you. Uh, this is Mother's Day weekend. I want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. Um, I think about Timothy and the Bible and how he uh, was thankful for his mother and grandmother that shared the Word of the Lord with him. And I had that and a mother too, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, as I as I look out here, I want you to notice the the scenery here, the beautiful red barn, the, the the planted field. There's corn coming up. I just love it. Don't you just love God's creation? Uh, I was reading a, a devotion, uh, "Sun Stand Still" by Stephen Pastor Stephen Furtek, and I really loved it. The one that I read today, because I'm like, hey, I used to say this to people, and I want to keep on saying it to people. And it was nice to hear the affirmation from him. But he talked about how it isn't us hanging on to God, but God hangs on to you. Do you ever talk like that with people? You're going through a really tough time and you say stuff like, hey man, hang in there. You know what I've been saying lately? Hey, remember who's hanging on to you. I love that. You know, maybe, maybe we don't feel strong enough to hang on to God. So what's gonna happen? We're gonna, we're gonna loosen our grip and fall and we're gonna just be out of his grip, out of his touch, out of his reach. He hangs on to us. I love that. Remember who is hanging on to you. Share that with people when they're going through a tough time. Remember who is hanging on to you. I remember when my kids were little, I was going through the parking lot one time with my daughter and I didn't want her to get hit by a car. It was really busy, a lot of traffic. We were making our way out to the car and I grabbed her hand and I held on to it. And I protected her as we got to the car. I didn't say, hang on to daddy. No, daddy's hanging on to you. Because now I know I'm not going to let you go and you're going to be safe. If I tell her to hang on to me, she might let go and then be in danger. God is hanging on to you. I love this from Isaiah chapter 41. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. His victorious right hand. How can he claim that? Because he conquered death. I mean, there is if, if death can't stop you, nothing can stop you. Nothing. Nothing. What are you going to do? Kill somebody and watch them stand up again and rise? Kill them again just to see them rise again? If death can't stop you, nothing can stop you. That's great news. His victorious right hand. That is the hand that is hanging on to us. I just love that. He, and then it goes on later. He says, For I hold you by your right hand, I the Lord your God. And I say to you, don't be afraid. I am here to help you. Wow. Do you need help? What are you going through right now? It's not about you hanging on to God. It's about God hanging on to you. Last week we talked about how big our God is. Oh man, look at this. I, I, I'm gonna, th this was from Isaiah 41. I'm gonna share with you some verses from Isaiah 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for all her sins. Listen, it's the voice of someone shouting, Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill in the valleys, level the mountains and hills, straighten the curves, smooth out the rough places. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed. I just love this. Uh, there's so many good things here, Isaiah 40. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. Think about that, everything's blooming now. All the flowers are gonna be coming out. We just love that time of the year, right? But before you know it, it'll all be disappearing again. It's amazing to me. I, I just, when we talk about our big God, okay, I want you to, you can see the scenery, right? Who else has held the ocean in his hands? Who has measured off the heavens with his fingers? Who else knows the weight of the earth? Do you guys know how much the earth weighs? I don't know. 
or has weighed the mountains and hills on a scale. He weighs the mountains and the hills on a scale. Who is able to advise the Spirit of the Lord? Who knows enough to give him advice or teach him? Has the Lord ever needed anyone's advice? Does he need instruction about what is good? Did someone teach him what is right or show him the path of justice? No, for all the nations of the world are but a drop in the bucket. They are nothing more than dust on the scales. He picks up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand. He picks up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand. Can you trust that kind of God? That he's the one holding on to you? I love that. It's, it's been so neat to say to people over the years when they're going through tough situations and they share that with me, it's so neat to be able to say to them, hey, remember who's holding on to you. No more of this. Hang in there. No. Look who's holding on to you. He will make a way where there is no way. He will see you through. He holds the heavens and the earth in his hands. He holds you in his hands. He loves you with an everlasting love. Share this message with people who are going through a tough time. Give them hope. Say a prayer with them. In fact, let's do that now. Lord Jesus, those who are going through terrible times, tough times right now, may we be able to share a message with, with them. It's not hang in there, but to remind them who's hanging on to them. God, mighty God who made the heavens and the earth, who gave his life for us so that we could have eternal life that begins now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you. This is Pastor John from 15.5 Ministries. God bless our mothers. God bless your week. Have a great day in the Lord.